Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm sorry that I'm starting this video like a mess, but I've been sick for days. Actually, I have COVID and um, it feels terrible. I've been sick, really, really sick for days and um, it feels terrible. But I feel today is the first day that I actually have some energy, you know, some energy to sit down and film, some energy to talk where I don't cough all the time, but you can hear in my voice, you can maybe see that I'm feeling terrible, but I still want to be here today to actually review and try the new, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> to try the new Charlotte Tivoli foundation. Now I reviewed the one that she already has that everybody loves, just forgot the name of, of it, but that foundation didn't work for me at all. I don't understand how people like it. I don't understand how people make it work. I didn't make it work in any way. And I did try because it's an expensive one. But this is maybe something more suitable for me. So we'll try that. I actually actually got the concealer too for the first time. Now I know my sister likes the, this, this concealer. But I've heard many bad things about the packaging. So we'll see. And I also had to restock on my air brush or airbrush flawless finish powder now i have the one usual one and i'm almost i think I'm, I'm out or it kind of broke the last pieces i'll try to you know fix it but i had to buy the new one and i'm not going to use that powder today because i actually want to try the nutcracker zc zsea i don't know what it's called the brand I want to try their powder. I've seen it on Instagram and it's where I, actually my sister tagged me on Instagram and I wanted to see, look how cute this packaging is. I swatched it, but it's just a powder. And I can't really see anything about it, but it's just a powder and I want to set one on the side just to see if it's anything special. Okay guys, I've been having problems with my camera, so it didn't film. I'm just using my moisturizer. I'm so tired and I don't actually have so much energy. My body hurts, it feels like I don't have energy and I don't have energy to do anything. But I'm really, really trying um, to do my best because I ju can't just sit and not do anything. So please guys, let me know, how did you, if, did you have COVID, Corona or COVID, call it what you want, how did you feel? Because some people, just say that I've felt fine, but I'm being feeling terrible and I still feel very terrible and I feel dizzy and weak. I haven't done anything for days. Um, I did, of course, took showers and washed my hair, and, but I haven't done anything around the house and I'll be just taking it easy and we'll be ordering food for home delivery. So I really try to relax, but man, can't can't relax. So I'm just putting some eyeshadow primer and look my nails are terrible and so long but I need to go and fix them but as soon as I'm going to be able to go outside and not spread this virus I'm going to fix my nails. I'm going to use Kaya powder Dutch to set my eyeshadow base and I'm going to use a new palette today. I'm not going to create any makeup look that's, you know, something special. I just want to try a palette. And this palette has been out for a very long time, but I just got it because I wanted it. It was on sale on Beauty Bay, and this is the Smoke Session from Melt Cosmetics. Really wanted this palette for a really long time. Guys, sorry, my voice is really, sorry for looking this bad, but I really want to try these products. So I'm going to, <clears throat> just want to cough. look at these colors oh they talk to me okay so I'm going to use the beauty bakery brush and I'm going to go in with sore diesel this shade here into the crease and try to build it upwards or put it up because I have really rude eyes and a lot of texture and this year I and last year I realized that my eyes are more hooded now than ever Oh, this is really pigmented. I did expect 
it doesn't have any light shade so that you can put in the crease but I could go with another palette but I don't want to I don't want to spend a lot of time with other eyeshadows I just want to try this palette and this looks cute a little bit hard to blend right now maybe it's me or my eyes no there you go so I'm going to go in with the Cash Beauty number 8 brush and I do want to go into Space Queen, the bl blue one, and I'm going to place that into the crease to dip it up a little bit more. Oh, they are very pigmented. Oh, this is a really dark makeup look. So I'm going to go in with both of these shades, mix them together and place it in the other corner. I'm going to go in with Sweet Tooth first. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to try to use a brush. This is the So So. Uh, number 204 brush and I'm going to go in Blue Dream clean brush and just I don't know try to blend everything so it doesn't look terrible okay guys so there's been some fallout but this is not about this palette, it's about the foundation. So I am going to go in with my milk primer. Like that. And I'm going to wear it today, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to wear it just to see how it's going to wear. While this is setting, I'm going to go in with my Nia on the eye. Product. Okay, so this promises too much. I mean, it promises undetectable coverage, improves the look of your skin with each wear, clinical prevents results, boosts hydrates up, boosts hydration up to one hundred and sixty six percent. Skin looks plumpier, smoother by up to 181%. Skin tone looks more even up to 210%. Um, minimize the appearance of the pores, reduce the appearance of pigmented dark spots, skin ap appears instantly brighter. I mean, this foundation promises dream. So, I have it in shade 3 neutral. I don't know if that's good shade, but Love the packaging, love this kind of packaging. Okay, let's squeeze, squeeze. I am going to use on one side with the brush and the other side with a sponge. I'm usually a sponge person. I'm not really a fan of brushes, but let's take, I really hated the other one, foundation. Oh, it's, it looks fine. Okay, let's go with the brush. And I'm going to go in with this from Cosmetics. Oh. Take my mirror and stack it. It feels really light. It's definitely medium coverage not a full coverage so don't expect that so it's going on really nice with the brush i have to say really nice no streaks no so it looks much better than the other foundation from uh, charlotte table and it looks nice so i'm going to go in and use one more pump or not even a whole pump and let's go in with the sponge and see how sponge is going to blend it. Why did I go in with this side? I don't know. 
definitely soaks in a lot of product, the sponge. So one more pump. So with the sponge, it definitely, it goes on. Um, you get less coverage, but I'm just going to use some more and I'm just going to, you know, tap the brush everywhere and build up the coverage a little bit. And then I'm going to go over with a sponge to make everything even. So far, the color is really, really good for me. I mean, the color is spot on. It looks good, uh, definitely medium coverage. It's, I can say from the first experience right now that it's definitely not my favorite foundation because it does look fine, but I feel like the Catrice HD looks better, the ET Cosmetics looks better, um, Revlon looks better on me. I mean, it looks like I have makeup, so I won't lie. I mean, it's not terrible. I, as, I mean, it, it looks fine, but I'm not blown away, so. Okay, let's go in with the concealer. And this is why I like trying products and not only watch other reviews because some people really like it and it, my throat is itching. Uh, some people like it and it looks good on their skin, but when I, I'm 37 and I have very textured skin and I have combination skin and, uh, I mean, I'm not young and this foundation works a little bit different on me. And I think it's important to follow many people to see and reviews before you buy it, if you can't afford to purchase it just for trying it out. So I'm going in when this is the shade two, I think, fair, with the magic. How do you open this? Okay. So I've heard good stuff about the concealer, but bad stuff about the package. Not that I'm not a big uh, of this kind of applicator lover, huh? Not lower this applicator. Do I push it in the right way? Where is the concealer? Okay, I think I can see a little bit. My god, am I? Look where it is. Let's look where the concealer is. I thought it would be like full, but it's not. And I still can't see any concealer coming out. And it's still pushing it upwards. How much product do you get in here? Four milliliters. Okay, and how much do you get in other? Or maybe something wrong about that, so. I think I have it. Let's see. Yeah, there it is, but still need some more product. God. It's coming around the whole head, and as you can see, and I'm not liking that. I think I'm not going to be a fan of this applicator. Yes, and I do like to apply a lot of concealer, so don't judge me. Okay, let's see the sponge. I mean, the concealer looks good. It's not a bad concealer, just hate the packaging too. Okay, so. Let's see, we are going to set this and I do want to try to set one side with this powder and I'm going to use a brush for that. I'm going to use the Kaya Cosmetics number F15. No, I'm not. No, let's use the, this one that comes with the 
to powder. See, no creases here. I mean, I like the concealer, medium coverage. Could definitely be a lot more, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to do that. Feels a little bit sticky though, the concealer. Maybe it's just me. Okay, let's go in with this powder. Okay. Oh, it's white. Definitely brightens up the on the eye. Going to set the half face with this powder. Let's use a brush, Kaya Cosmetics, big number F16. Just swirl it around. It's a little bit powdery. I think this will give me a flashback. So it definitely fixed the pores. Let's go with my usual. Kaya Cosmetics powder that I know I like and enjoy. Let's just remove the creases and the powder. Definitely the Nutcracker palette or the powder looks a little bit better on the eyes less heavy, it definitely looks brighter, brighter, it's the hair, I mean, they both look nice on the skin, so we'll see how it's going to hold my oils, they're both the same pore filling, can't see any difference about that, so, powder, is it magic? Like they say, no, not really. The not, I mean, it's not a bad powder, but we'll see how it's going to wear during the day. I'm going to go and finish my makeup look and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it's 11 right now and 11 a.m. And oh God, I'm going to color my hair. <laughs> look at my grays. <laughs> Sorry for looking like a mess. And guys, sorry for not giving you the best quality video where I, you know, have a lot of energy, where I give you more details about the makeup look, but I don't have energy for that, but I really love these eyeshadows. They look beautiful. Of course, I could blend them more. Of course, I could make it, you know, even more beautiful, stunning, but I just really having a hard time to find energy because I feel like I've been running a marathon or something. Okay, <clears throat> I've been having this foundation on for 50 minutes and I have to say it looks pretty good. It does look pretty, pretty good. I think the pot powders did an amazing job. I feel like this made my under eye a little bit more brighter, so I do like that. Uh, it does look good now when everything is on. For the first, with the first application, it kind of didn't blew me away and it still doesn't blow me away but I still feel like it looks really good it looks really natural it even my skin tone it definitely it's definitely medium coverage it's not full coverage and I feel like it, this foundation is not something that I will build it up because if you have more mature skin uh, you want to lose use less product and I mean it it looks nice my nose it's definitely not um, as stunning as I would like it to. My nose has some problems with foundations and it's really picky and really, really, really picky. But let's just say that it, I could definitely use more foundation on my nose because I feel like it that didn't cover a lot and here on the, this part of the nose. So everything looks, looks, everything else looks good. I feel like the powder, this one kind of uh, looks more Cosmetic looks more visible. It's not visible. It's just a little bit darker than the other side, of course. But it's a just translucent powder. But I feel like this one is definitely going to give me a flashback if I do a photo right now. Uh, can't read anything. This is made in China, but on the packaging it says also can't read about it. But I will put the information down below. It's in Chinese. I can't 
will be anything. But the pictures look good on Instagram. In, uh, on Instagram. Okay, so um, I like it so far. It's okay foundation. It looks nice. It looks natural. It does it. It does look like foundation, but it doesn't look like I have a plenty of foundation. Uh, so definitely beware of that. Does it settle into my fine lines? Not yet. So we'll see. I'm going to wear it as much as possible today. Though I just feel like I wanted to remove everything and go back to bed. But I'll try to do my best. Okay, guys. So. So the first impression so far, it's a okay cake foundation. It looks definitely better than the other one on my skin. Uh, but um, this needs to be proved a little bit more. Okay, see you soon. Okay, hi guys. Uh, I'm ready to take this makeup off because let's just say I've been uh, feeling really sick still. Uh, and I've been having this foundation on for around... I want to say, what time is it? Around six hours, so six hours. And usually I wear it 10, 11, but right now I'm too tired and I got something in my eye and I just want to remove my makeup. So let's just see, oh, it's really some there in my eye. Okay, you probably hear my kids laughing and having fun. They're actually playing games with their friends online, so they're very loud. Okay, this still looks Pretty good. I mean, uh, the nose, it looks uh, uneven because my nose looks uneven because I've been touching and sneezing a lot. But oh my god, my voice. <laughs> um, but everything else looks really good. I mean, I, I feel like this is a good foundation. Uh, definitely better than the last one that I tried from uh, the Charlotte Tilbury. I actually forgot what the name is of that foundation. I'm sorry, guys, but very popular. But I feel like this foundation works much better for my oily skin, our combination skin. Now, it looks fine. It didn't settle to my fine lines. I feel like it, I do look shiny, but I look like healthy shiny. It doesn't bother me at all. I didn't feel it. It did gather a little bit here around my... Like I said, my nose doesn't look good. But every, everywhere else looks pretty good. I really like it. I'll definitely continue using it and trying a little bit more, but so far so good. I've been liking how it looks and I feel it's it's an okay foundation. Though, I wanted to put it out there. I, If I knew how my face will look, I don't know if I will buy it because I do have other drugstore foundation that did does an incredible job with my uh, makeup and it makes my makeup look beautifully on my face. So I feel like this is not actually anything magical. It's not anything that it's unbelievable, shocking for me in a positive way. Though I feel it's a good foundation. I feel it's like a nice foundation. I would definitely wear it. But I just feel like maybe I will try to use it with different uh, primers and see uh, wear it in a different way and see if that will make me love it more. But I don't hate it foundation, but I just feel there are some other drugstore foundation that's, that looks better on my skin now. Could be my skin together with the creams and maybe because I'm sick, my skin feels weird. I don't know. I just feel like it's... I know, I, I'm not having a best time with Charlotte Tilbury's foundations, unfortunately, though I love her products. The concealer looks pretty good. I mean, the powder looks good in both, uh, though I feel like this side where I have that, um, where I have uh, this powder looks more, more bright. And, but the other side looks also pretty good, so I, I just feel like the the both powders did an amazing job with my under eyes. The concealer looks good. I will definitely continue using concealer every day, though I hate the packaging of that concealer. I don't like those kind of applicators, but I knew that before I bought it, so that's nothing new. Okay, guys, so let me know down below if you try this foundation or you're curious to try it. What do you think? Have you tried any of other uh, Charlotte Tilbury's foundation? What do you think about them? I really want to hear your thoughts because I haven't been able to really fell in love with any, any of her face products. But please let me know down below what you think. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel. I would love you to be part of Didi family. 
Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.